Hi, Emma from EV5 Safe. Uh, we're in uh, freezing cold Sydney tonight uh, at an event with the Australian Electric Vehicle Association uh, looking at the brand new Cooper Born. So this is a fully electric vehicle, 77 kilowatt hour uh, battery capacity. So really decent size, a bit bigger than your, your lowest range Tesla Model 3. Uh, and of course, we're having a look at how we identify, mobilise and isolate this vehicle. So the Cupra Born looks a lot like other Cupra models, but of course here in Australia you'll have the blue EV badge to indicate that it is an electric vehicle. So once you've identified the vehicle, to immobilise it there is a number of ways and of course at this point we pull up the emergency response guide on the ANCAP rescue app. So there is an on off button on this particular vehicle so you'd switch that off, uh, make sure the, the vehicle's powered down and make sure that you're not approaching from the front or the, the rear of the vehicle because you can't hear any engine noise so there is that risk of unexpected or uncontrolled movement. And then to isolate the vehicle, they've actually got three isolation points for emergency responders. So let's have a look at the first one in the front. The, under the bonnet here, there's uh, what we refer to as a pull plug. So it's just in under this bit of cowling here. Uh, so I'm pull that off, hang on a minute. There we go. And you can see there it's got the, uh, the yellow uh, emergency responder uh, label and basically what we want to do is pull this black part out of the green part of the plug so it's a little tricky it's going to be difficult to do with um, you know full firefighting gloves or PPC on uh, but that's essentially what um, uh, yeah, we can do first of all and this has become quite common in a lot of electric vehicles now the second way we can do this is actually inside the vehicle itself and of course, as I said before, you want to make sure that it's immobilized before you go crawling around in here. But essentially down in here, I'm going to get a bit of light on it again, hang on. In under here, uh, in the glove box, just behind this little um, uh, compartment here, you can see there, there's a second um, uh, emergency responder uh, label. And basically we pull that out uh, and that will uh, isolate high voltage as well. And then the third way is at the back. So because it's brand new, we haven't been able to poke around uh, a lot and actually find this, uh, this uh, third uh, high voltage isolation. But essentially there's a cut loop in behind this um, rear driver's side uh, uh, light here. So in behind here, there's actually a cut loop again, marked with that yellow firefighter helmet um, sticker. And we simply cut through that and high voltage is isolated. So brand new uh, Cupra Born Electric, B-O-R-N. Um, start to see them on the road soon. Great little vehicle. And um, I really like that they've got three separate ways for us to isolate high voltage. So no matter how this vehicle may have been involved in an incident or involved in a collision, there's a way for us to actually isolate the high voltage systems. Uh, um, in here. Now this section comes off easily. I've got to remember how to do this. Uh, <laughs> hang on a minute. Maybe it's that way. Okay, let's cut that bit. So, okay, smart ass. Hang on, let me do that again. <laughs> 